Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike Watson with Keller Williams. Uh, the first quarter has come to an end, and it seems to have done pretty good so far. This year, we'll see where it takes us. Um, and without further ado, here are the stats for first quarter of 19. Um, at the end of March, the inventory levels were 30% higher than they were uh, last year for the first quarter. Um, and the inventory did dip uh, just under 7% in March uh, from February, which is to be expected going into the spring market. The total number of homes that went into escrow for the first quarter this year was up 20% over last year. That's a pretty massive gain. Um, and we were up 49% over February. Um, not sure exactly what triggered that could be with the government shut down at the beginning of the year and tax returns taking a little bit longer to get out. And once people got them, they started home shopping. Hard to tell. Could also be with the uh, slight decrease in interest rates. We'll see how that continues to trend for the rest of the year. Uh, the total number of homes to have actually closed is down 12.5% for the first quarter of this year versus the first quarter of last year. That's interesting, but our pendings are way high, so maybe it's just a lag effect, um, and we'll see higher closings uh, next quarter than we did last year. We'll see how that goes. Um, good news is the number of closings in March was up 30 and a third percent over February. Um, the average sales price, this one's interesting, the average sales price is up 4% for the first quarter. Uh, compared to last year, first quarter. So that shows pretty good appreciation levels there. Um, and this average sales price went up, you know, just over 3% from February to March. The month to month isn't really as important because we could have one really expensive home sell or one really cheap home sell, and it would vary slightly. Um, and with the lower number of closings, uh, the percentages get a little more volatile with extreme cases in either direction. Um, so the listing to sales price ratio is down 0.2% uh, uh, for the first quarter of this year compared to last year, and it fell slightly 0.1% from February to March. The days on market, and this is where we see the major um, shift. This is the stat that shows the shift the most right now. And this will be a leading measure, which will cause um, lower list price to sales price ratios, lower number of units closed, things like that uh, later on in the year. So again, the days on market being a leading measure is up 56% this year for the first quarter compared to last year, first quarter. That is insane. Um, again, we'll see where that takes us with the higher number of pendings. That's great news. Uh, that should offset the days on market a little bit, but with a far lower closing amount, we'll see. Um, and then the uh, days on market just from February to March uh, went down by one day. Again, spring markets here, not a huge tell from month to month. Um, and again, with lower closing numbers, those numbers get volatile pretty easily. Um, so yeah, the market is looking good so far as to be expected with the spring market uh, going into full effect. Interest rates are gonna be a big deal. And the Fed, like I said last month, they announced that they weren't going to be increasing rates for the rest of the year, which for the economy in the short term could be great news. It's questionable for the long term, um, but that's above my pay grade. So we'll see what happens with the second quarter and with next month. And I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.